Oh shit! Hold on a sec. What the hell is up, fellas? We're on the mother freaking Xenon 100 again because right now it's kind of my only running bike. The Grom has a bald spot in the tire. And the 300, man, I just feel bad riding that thing the way those forks are. But anyway, today's video, we are gonna talk about why I got a naked street bike. We will not waste your time and we will get straight into the subject. The number one first reason why I got a naked street bike is comfort, man. That's like the biggest number one reason right there. Oh, I think a bug just, oh. Goddamn bug just flew in my mouth. Anyway, the number one first reason is comfort. I came from ZX6R, man, and that thing was the most uncomfortable thing in the freaking world, dude. I mean, it wasn't that bad. I'm probably exaggerating a little bit, but I just do remember like my hips hurting, dude. My just being like really uncomfortable, man. You know, crouched over, laying down, not a great riding position. And me and Kyle rode like a probably th only like a three hour ride to, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. To, uh, Carter Lake and I had to pull over I was hurting so bad man and then I went to an FZ09 which I think is definitely one of the most comfortable naked street bikes and dude I could ride that thing I got I had a saddleman seat on it and I could ride that thing all day for as long as I want and you know with minimal discomfort you can stand up on it you could chill whatever now I'm on a Z900, and it still is very straight up and down. You know, my knees aren't super bent, but it's just a little bit more aggressive. But I still can ride it all day long without issue. Second reason why I bought a naked street bike is because of my riding style. And the power range of a naked street bike compared to... I'm pretty much going to be comparing this to a super sport, because that's what I was thinking about was a naked street bike or it was like a Jixxer 750 I was looking at or uh, or this and I went with this but anyway the range of power is just so much more usable you know you got that instant torque especially on the MT Z900 though is still really great you know first gear just four, straight up man freaking instant torque and it's sweet and I just really like that because I'm not always flying down the highway I like taking off from lights and hitting lower speed poles and whatnot again I'll just compare it to my ZX6R which still is a phenomenal bike I did love that bike but you know it's revving to 16,500 rpms you're not even really hitting like major power until I don't even remember who knows what like 9, 10 something like that and something like this, I can get off a light and start hitting power right away, pretty much. 4,000 RPMs, 5,000. It does pick up more in the top end, but not at freaking like 10 grand. So that is the second reason. Instant power, dude. this bike man I love oh, man why do why is there always traffic always there's always traffic man it's crazy dude it's turning literally into California here like you, you go to the front look the highways backed up it's looking like you go to the front of the light and then that's all you get until the next light and that is the exact reason right there actually perfect example of why I like this bike more because at least I get to do that man Dude, she still rips on the highway, man. Like, she's definitely not slow on the highway either. <laughs> Freaking A, dude. That was wild. Get in a 
traffic. Oh, this thing's fun. I can't just haul ass the whole entire time. Let's uh, let's get to point number, what is it? Point number four now? Let's get to point number four as we get behind the slow person in the left lane. Point number four is gonna be, obviously, you can freaking dirt bike these things, man. Have you seen the videos that we've made? We're always off-roading these freaking things, dude. No, I, I'm obviously joking a little bit about that one. The, the real main reason is just those first two reasons. It's the riding position and the comfort. I like to go on long rides, mountain rides. So it didn't make sense to get an uncomfortable bike or a more uncomfortable bike. And then the power range. You know, me and Kyle and whatnot, we do a lot of city riding. We're not only chilling on the highways. And like I said, we're in mountains going through twisties that might get you down to like 45 miles an hour and it's fun to be right in the power you know doing a wheelie out of them and stuff like that so those are the two real main reasons but let's go rather floor it through this tunnel or do a wheelie through it So before you go buying a sweet ass Jixer 1000 Super Sport, which are freaking dope, ask yourself, man, do I want to be doing freaking 175, 80 miles an hour on the highway the whole time? Or do I want to have fun coming off of lights, uh, you know, doing little city poles with friends and that type of stuff not saying these bikes can't do highway because they still can do highway i just think the power band is more fun for like like if you're like coming from a super moto or a grom or something like that i think you would have more fun on a naked so that's going to be the end of this video real quick straight to the point like and subscribe and we will see you next time